I'm trying my first blue apron box. So I thought, like, why don't I just vlog it? Um, I don't know. She got to send, like, blue apron boxes. So she sent one to me. We have either a spicy shrimp pasta or a seared chicken and brown rice bowl. I don't think these are the meals that I chose, but maybe I didn't do it right. I think I'm gonna do the spicy shrimp and pasta. garlic <laughs> I mean I've wanted to try like subscription um, like food delivery because like I heard it's really convenient and obviously like you don't waste stuff because there's like everything comes like pre cut like pre measured and stuff Actually, I'm gonna call my sister to see if she wants some. Call Monica Choi. Which phone number for Mo calling Monica Choi? Mobile. It says prepare the ingredients. Fill a large part with salted water, cover and heat to boil. Cool. Wash and dry the broccoli. Cut off and discard the bottom half inch of the broccoli stem, then cut into smaller florets. Peel two cloves of garlic and roughly chop. So the water is boiling, so I'm gonna add the pasta. It says, add the pasta, cook uncovered eight to 10 minutes. It says, pat the shrimp dry with a paper towel. Place in a bowl, add salt, pepper, chopped garlic, tomato paste, and as much chili paste. And the shrimp is gone. Okay, so I just added a quarter cup of water to like a fry pan, a large pan, and then I'm gonna cook the broccoli florets first. Okay, it says reduce the heat to medium, loosely cover the pan, and then without stirring, let it cook for 35 minutes. Okay, my timer went off for the pasta, so let's check on it. And that's done. I'm gonna put the shrimp into the same pan as the broccoli and then just stir cook it until the shrimp looks cooked. Does that make sense? Until this are slightly opaque and then add a quarter cup of water, stir one to two minutes until the shrimp and broccoli get more tender, turn off the heat, taste, salt and pepper, add pasta. Let me show you. So the spicy shrimp pasta, blue apron, mine, theirs. Obviously I haven't plated it, but it looks bomb. So let's try this. My sister is next to me, but she's not gonna be like in the video, but we're gonna taste it at the same time. Just gonna top it off with this grated cheese. Get a little pasta. Definitely needs more flavor, like salt, pepper. Yeah. What do you think? I agree. Like needs more flavor? Yeah. Yeah, I agree with myself. But it's not bad. Let's try a shrimp. Mm. Okay. 
Hi and happy Tuesday. I cooked my second blue apron meal and I cooked the seared chicken and brown rice bowl. It smells really good. Let me show you. Um, there's a lot of kale. Uh, the way they told us to cook the brown rice, I would say is like, not the most effective way to cook a brown rice, being Asian, but you know, it is what it is. And the way they cook their chicken also made my chicken come out undercooked. But I'm gonna eat this and then do a full review on Blue Apron later. Okay, I just finished all my meetings for the day and I just wanted to come and chat on like my opinion, honest review kind of thing of Blue Apron. Um, I received my Blue Apron package for free. My friend June got to send a few boxes out for free, so she sent one to me, so thanks June. Um, yeah, I actually like enjoyed the food uh, yesterday, not yesterday, uh, the food on Sunday, the shrimp pasta, and then the chicken dish today was really good. Um, I actually prefer the dish from today as to the one on Sunday. I'm not a big pasta person. Um, if you saw the clip, then you saw like, wait, did I even order this? Because like, it's not really like me to order pasta, but it might have been user error. I might have clicked something wrong when ordering the food. But, um... That kind of brings me to how I felt about their vegetarian options. I am not vegetarian, but I do like to eat some of my meals vegetarian, and vegetarian meals are like harder to think of, so I thought that if like a subscription like food service like thought of the vegetarian meals for me, then it would be a lot easier. And I was kind of disappointed that their vegetarian options were mostly like pasta based. It was like pasta and like ravioli and things like that. Not a fan of pasta or ravioli or liked um, Italian foods in particular. So um, for me, it was kind of disappointing that those were the vegetarian options. For that reason, I didn't renew my Blue Apron um, subscription, but um, there's a lot of other reasons I didn't renew um, besides that. So one had to do with the vegetarian options. The second one is I prefer um, more spicy and like complex flavors i'm not saying that the food is bland but i think the food are very like american new american taste bud flavors which is like i totally get it um but being korean american i think i prefer like spicier like more rich and dense flavors and i wasn't really getting that from their meal not that i need to consistently have meals that are so complex and spicy and things like that um but to me it's like not my personal preference of food and since i'm not sharing the meal kit with anyone in my household right now that means i'd be having four meals a week um where the flavor profile isn't exactly how i would want it to be and people are like yeah you can add sriracha and tabasco but i mean like that takes away from the food a lot so um i'd rather just like purchase and then make meals that mit fit my palate a little bit more um, but I do think that if you aren't such like a spicy or like spice flavored eater that this is like a great option um, this might be like in your exact palate range then I think it's totally totally worth it it's just not worth it for me at this time I'm not getting a blue apron subscription right now but would I get one in the future when I like if I ever move in with Jared and Jared is my boyfriend and he's the opposite of me. His palate isn't into like super spicy, super spiced up flavors. Um, I think the meals that I had are exactly in his line of taste. If we were living together and we had a Blue Apron subscription, it would be like two meals a week only because we would like be sharing it um and i think that in that sense it's totally worth it it's two meals that i don't have to think about and it's two meals that we just always have on hand that's easy prep and cook um i did really enjoy that that the meals were like pre-portioned out and like you know exactly like the ingredients come the way they are and like there's just like a minimal amount of like prep and cook time that has to go into it which I really do appreciate because sometimes like you're just really hungry you know and you don't want to wait like an hour for food so basically if you live alone and you like really spicy dense like spiced up flavors and whatnot not for you but if you prefer like less spicy and like more like carbohydrate based foods like, there's a good balance of, like, carbohydrate, protein, and stuff. I just prefer not to eat, like, 
starchy carbs like not really my thing but if you're into like a balanced meal unlike me definitely for you or if you're living with someone I think it's great because you don't have to eat it four times you just eat it twice it's something you don't have to think about or like prep for and in that case it is definitely worth it and for families too because I know they have like a two and four or like whatever so yeah definitely worth it in that sense it's just not worth it for me right now I hope that's like a pretty comprehensive very honest review about how I feel about blue <laughs> since I last picked up my camera and I didn't have a vlog last week and I'm so sorry I didn't even post anything about it and it's because I've been going back and forth a lot on how I want to move forward with vlogging but um, I've ultimately decided that this is going to be my last vlog for now and I'm still gonna be making videos and I'm still gonna be making like travel vlogs because I am doing quite a bit of traveling towards the end of the year. I still love and enjoy making YouTube videos. Um, I'm actually just taking a pause, hopefully, from vlogging um, because of some other reasons. And I'm gonna be making a video about that in the future um, probably in the next couple videos my goal is to still upload um, one video a week because I genuinely enjoy making videos recording and editing so yeah thank you so much if you've watched my vlogs up until this point and I'm so sorry that I'm gonna be stopping vlogging for a bit but please um, enjoy my other videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you know when I do upload those videos. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.